Now we are here because the future is digital. We know that everything is going to be connected to internet, apps, mobile, uh, several other devices. Now we are here to tell you that if you want to secure the future of your sales, you have to use digital marketing. Now Turkish companies are uh, always trying to uh, have a sustainable sales with the Arabic world and they want to make strategi uh, st strategies upon this. So we are here to help and we are here to answer how the internet can help sales to Arabs or your dish in general inside and outside of Turkey. First, the presentation structure will be we will define the current situation, our situation. What is the problems we have and what's the opportunities we should seize to acquire this. The second is how digital marketing can help and what kind of goal we can achieve with digital marketing. The third is what's the specific tools that digital marketing can help Turkish companies to connect with the uh, Arabic market easy and grow. And final is what are the results we, we Turkish companies would have if they use these tools. First, where are we now? What's the problems we have? Now we, are no, now we have like four problems. We have problem about the communication, which is the heart of any marketing effort, offline and online. It's the communications. We have very bad communications now. We have very, we can say bad internet infrastructure, which means uh, Turkish companies now, websites, are not fully optimized for the Arabic world. Marketing campaigns, um, wrong targeting, sending bad, bad messages, and of course, the most crucial one, the analytics. How uh, Turkish companies now, uh, they don't have the necessary tools to uh, analyze the data that they are collecting from the internet. Third one is, Mal Asaf, uh, they are using personal or in-house marketing op optimization teams, and everybody think that they can advertise through Google AdWords or they can use Facebook platforms advertising. It would be very easy. Maybe the the web developer can do it. But now we will uh, we will say how this is affecting the company sales. And after all, all these problems are leading us to companies now cannot define what success is on the digital marketing on the Arabic world. So they don't have a sustainable strategy to sell more and grow. So now we will, talk, we will dive deeper. First problem, we have bad communications. Ladies and gentlemen, this thing, this is not Arabic. This is not any language we can understand. And this happens because web developers now, they are translating from Turkish to Arabic. Turkish people and they are excused, of course. They don't know if this is like Arabic or something else, something we don't understand. And this is what we call no language. So imagine yourself now, you are uh, like seeing something like this. Do you understand anything here? I don't think so, because it's being translated through Google Translate, literally, from marketing, or they are using this like this is no language, this is something nobody can understand. And the third problem is non-specialists writing content and ads. Now Turkish companies, uh, they have a lot of, uh, let's say, Arabic personnel for sales, for customer care. These people are now writing the content for the website and writing ads too, which leading us to a big problem that Google SEO is not understanding the website, what is it about? The client is not understanding what, what he's expecting from this website. Let's say it's a hospital or a hotel or whatever it is. And of course, ads, ads will send the wrong message. The second problem is after we have this, uh, after we have this non-specialist writing, we will have misleading, unclear, and bad UX or bad experience website content, which means your client will leave you immediately 
and go to the next door competitor because he has a better content. And the crucial one, the most crucial one, is ads are sending wrong messages, which something like this. It would be, your, your message is going down, not going up. Nobody is interacting with your message, and no one is understanding what you are writing on Google or Facebook because you are using something like this language. This is my name, really, this is my name, but no one will understand it on the Arabic world because it's written in reverse, you say in Turkish ters, and yeah, we have this big problems. Budgets are going away, companies are not having confidence on the Arabic world, while Arabic world is so rich as we will see next. The third problem is 79 of B2B managers, according to B2Bmarketing.net, managers and, and leaders reported noticeable skill gaps in the, teams, in the teams they manage, ranging from data analysis to core digital marketing techniques to customer insights. This is when we are using personal in-house marketing optimization and we don't have the language problem. In Turkey, we have the language problem and we have this. The companies now are starting to hiring big teams, big digital teams, to manage their efforts while they need to hire agencies with more big teams. Why? We have the problems. We cannot analyze the... Can you see this clearly? Good. People are not analyzing this data. They don't have time on the teams. And companies don't have budget to train the team. And of course, they have a lack of, of suitable resources, uh, resources of training. We need training on digital world because we are the agencies, we are the professionals. We attend every month meetings with Google AdWords, with Facebook, with all the other platforms because they look at us like we are the uh, agencies. We manage millions of Turkish liras per month. But single companies, like inshaat companies, hotels, whatever, they will spend maximum on Google, let's say, 200,000 liras, uh, liras in a year. So Facebook is not so concerned to help them in personally. It will help us, the agencies. And in return, they will have these this problems here. And this is 79 of B2B managers and leaders saying this. So it's a big problem. If people, uh, if companies will always try to manage their mar digital marketing teams inside their companies. The first problem, this is the sum of all problems. Now companies cannot define what success is. I've been, a lot, I've been in a lot of uh, meetings with a, with a lot of Turkish companies. They have lost confidence with the Arabic. Why? because they are using no experts writing ads and writing content and making banners. And they don't know how to analyze their data. They have data for like, let's say, five months of advertising now, but they don't know how to analyze it. What's the market was? What's the market reaction was? They don't know. They, they only know one thing that, okay, spend more and we will get more clients. But it does not work this way. The second, the second problem is, is we are having one person with too much responsibilities. One person. We will say, we will hire the salesman. He's very good. He's so good. He's a native Arabic speaker. But can he do digital advertising? They say, yeah, yeah, he can do it. And he do it, and the outcome would be something like no leads, or leads are fake, or whatever it is. So having one person on the digital world is not enough. We need website developers, we need copywriters, we need advertisers, we need a lot of other specialties. And eventually, they will lose potential customers. Why? Because maybe your next competitor, your next door competitor, has starting to hire some Arabic experts. So your potential clients will go to that competitor. But not everything is a problem. We have opportunities. We have two opportunities, actually, and they are very good. The first one, you can, Turkish companies now can connect to the Arabic internet experts or agencies to manage their whole digital assets, not only the advertising or web, web developing. And here is the good news. The existence of a huge Arabic market online is waiting for the Turkish companies to go and collect that 
money. The first opportunity is here, as, as, uh, as we can see, according to marketingline.com, advertising agencies manage millions of dollars in a monthly ad spend. As a result, advertising platforms like Google AdWords, like Facebook, like Creatio, help them deliver the best results possible to clients. Of course, we see that we deal with Google every day in a personal approach, not like we send them email and they send us back email after like one week. No, we deal with Google every day because we are managing too much big budgets. And 75 of marketeers, and this is really crucial, 75 of marketeers now, they are good marketeers. We are not saying they are not good, but they, uh, they lack of skills of impacting revenue. They don't know how to manage these small details about advertising with any platform. They don't know how, what is the UX, how UX could impact our performance, how people can, not people, users, sorry, how users will interact with the website. They don't know. They know about marketing. Yes, we know. They can put the marketing strategies for offline or online, but they need to connect with agencies because agencies are highly trained and agencies, they have a big teams and they have a big experience. And as, as we said, they have a backup from, from the biggest platforms. The second opportunity, what is the Arabic market for Turkish companies. First, it is there is an e-commerce huge market in which we will see now by numbers. It's really huge. Second, Arabic world is growing investing investments and spending in Turkey too. We will see that by numbers too. Third, Turkish is the second best country to Arabs after their home countries. And you can ask any Arabic man you can see on the street, man or woman, what country do you like the best after your, your home country? He will say Turkey. E-commerce on the Arabic world. In this year, e-commerce will grow to $51 billion. That's a big number, really. In 2015, it reached $39 billion. In 2016, e-commerce grown by 40%. This is according to the Pyford State of Payments 2016 report. You can check it out. And here, you can see that the leading country for e-commerce is United Arab Emirates with $10 billion on 2015, and now it's growing. It's followed by Saudi Arabistan with 6.43, and it's followed by Egypt, Kuwait, and etc. So what, what we are considering this for us, we consider this as a very, very good news for all retailers in Turkey, because they can go inside this market and start selling their products. Now, what's the relationship between Turkish and Arabs? Uh, Abu Dhabi investing, <coughs> Abu Dhabi uh, investing holding said that they will invest in Turkey over 100 billion dollars in 2007 in the real estate sector, and this is really big. And now this, the second thing, tourists from Arabic Gulf has increased 450 percent from 2014. Why this second one is so important? Because Tourism is not only good for tourism agencies, because when people want to invest in a foreign country, they want to buy anything for sustainable, they start, by, they start their journey by being tourists. They go themselves, they try to, to, to ask about anything, they try to touch the country with their hand, and then they convert to be like investors or buyers. The third one is trade volume between Turkey and the GCC. GCC is the uh, countries of the Arabic Gulf. Saudi Arabistan, Kuwait, Emirates, Besare was close to 16 billion in 2014, and it's growing now. What does this mean? This means that all the retailers in Turkey, they are the most welcome to go inside the GCC because they are already trading by 16 billion dollars. Another good news for everybody who do retail. Why Turkey is the second best country to Arabs? Low prices, believe it or not, it's lower than Beirut in Istanbul, and of course it's lower than Europe or America. Big profits, and ask your real estate friend, he will tell you this. The democratic structure of Turkey, it's stable. The proximity to the Arab world, it's everywhere. Common religion and, and culture, that's what we love the most about Turkey. And it's natural and historical beauty. So. All these reasons is leading 
all the Arabic investors and buyers and customers to go inside Turkey and start to buy things here and to make this long-term relationship with the Turkish people. Now, how digital marketing can help solve the problem and seize the opportunities? Which means, what digital marketing can do now to all, to the, to all the Turkish companies? If we use it, like optimization, if you use it, very good. It can increase the demand for Turkish products and connect with the Arabic buyers each time it happens. And this means that when we are trying to uh, have a sustainable strategy towards the Arabic world, we have this, in, we have this good internet infrastructure, we will be able to reach almost everybody who uses internet on the uh, potential market. Let's say we are targeting Saudi Arabia, we can reach now everybody there with your, with the Turkish company message. From brand awareness to direct buying uh, commands like buy now, sell now, sign up now. This is all now available and this is not a dream like increase the demand, it's something that is a dream. It's not a dream. When you are uh, reaching your sustainable uh, sales rate, you are already increasing the demand and now you can sell more and more. So that's why we can now increase the demand for Turkish products with a good advertising, uh, with a good advertising campaigns, along with, of course, good website and good team inside the company for customer care or salespeople. How we can do this? We need to establish a link between the Turkish companies and the Arabic market. How is this? We have to use Arabic internet experts who can understand the language, who can understand the culture, and who can understand the most important one, the buying behavior of people there. Because believe me, we can understand things about GCC, uh, most of the Turks think it's, no, it, it does not go this way. And then we need to connect to the market, and this is really something beautiful here, because we will connect to the market directly. You don't need to, to hire an agent in Saudi Arabia to convert to you some clients. You don't need a third-party companies now to deal with customers from Saudi Arabia or from Kuwait or from whatever. You can just do it through the internet. You need to have your own uh, marketing infrastructure and you need to have of course your customer care team as we said this is very important have a professional Arabic customer service team CRM salespeople um, I don't know maybe customer care people people who follow up through WhatsApp with the with the clients you need to have all this so you can reach to the Arabic world good now we need to have the internet infrastructure. This is cons uh, consists of six elements. The first one, responsive website. According to Google, 53% of users abandon a mobile site if it takes more than a seconds, three seconds to load. So we need a responsive website, which Mr. Omar, I think he, he, he talked about. We need a fast website. We need a responsive website on any device can work at the same performance. We need SEO. I think we, we will have uh, speakers here that will speak more about it. But 61 of marketers say improving SEO and growing their organic presence is their top inbound marketing priority because it have a higher, um, let's say, conversion rate. It have a higher sales to be on the first result on Google all the time without running any campaigns. Analytics, and this is something I really love, you want to be a leading marketer, go with data, not your gut. And this is the most crucial one. You, we need to establish a, a system where we can uh, analyze every single data we are having on, on our platforms. We need to know what colors do they like, what products do they like, how much money are they willing to pay. We don't have to guess this anymore according to the new technology. We only have to use to analyze the data the way it should be analyzed. Of course, digital advertising, which is 46 of people clicks on Google ads when they are looking to buy an item online. Forget this, forget this. Go and ask everybody who works on uh, real estate or who works on tourism. They will tell you, we are relying on digital advertising only for bringing new clients. Fifth, fifth social media, 
Okay, 92 of marketeers say that social media is important to their business, which is everybody knows that. And now we will have the A-B testing. The A-B testing is something we do with everything you saw now. Like we have a responsive website. This is not the end of the story because the website needs always to be revised, always to be improvements. How, how we can be so sure about it? We use the A-B testing. SEO, maybe we need to invest in, a new, in, in some new keywords. So how we will do this? by A-B testing. Analytics tells us a lot of data from the A-B testing. So A-B testing is like, uh, like our culture, like our, we are the internet experts. We look at the A-B testing is like it's our culture. The second thing is, this is the core of what we will do if we will have this internet good infrastructure. We need to connect to the market. How? First step, we need to research. What does it mean, research? We need to find out, we need to collect data about all of our potential clients. What they like, what they do, uh, what kind of uh, products they, they like, what is their purchasing power, and all that. What, what are they talking about on the, on the social media? What's trending now in their market? And then we need to analyze this data when we will have this research data and we will have our own company data. Like we will sell at this price. We sell this kind of products. So you have to mix everything together and then, <coughs> and then you have to, to, have, to have answers for the questions like, will they buy our products? Do they like our products? Can they buy our products? And after that, if you, if you think it's yes, then you have to test the market. How? As I said with the A-B testing, you put small portion of advertising